Well, it's time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Steph Stephanie Haney. Hi, Stephanie. Sorry I'm butchering your name over here. <laughs> it's okay, Betsy. That's totally fine. We know who we are, right? And we, we are starting with the drama, though. Ohio Shanae Ankney got confronted on the Women Tell All special from The Bachelor last night, and boy, did she get confronted by the women and Clayton Eckerd. Listen to this. You manipulated the women, you manipulated me. I trusted you, I believed you, and it was the worst thing that I could have done. You asked for openness, vulnerability, honesty. I gave you all of that. That was hard for her to hear, and you could tell it by the look on her face. Shanae could barely get a word in it edgewise the entire time. The women kept coming after her for what they've seen from her this season, but she didn't have much to say, to be honest, other than she wasn't sorry. And on social media, she posted that it was an unforgettable experience that she will certainly remember for a lifetime. Now, I'll be talking with her soon on my Three Things to Know podcast, so we will get to hear more from her. And we still have Ohio University grad Rachel Reikia to watch for the next week, so stick around for those recaps. Cleveland Marathon runners will have a change of pace, if you will, for this year's race. The routes will start in a new spot. They'll start near the Fountain of Eternal Life statue in Memorial Plaza in downtown Cleveland. The official full and half marathon courses have just been approved by the city. Runners, of course, will go by landmarks including Public Square and the Rock Hall, and they will finish back at Memorial Plaza. Race weekend is May 20th through the 22nd. That's when those long races are on the 22nd. You can register online. We have the link on WKYC.com. And we know it was only a matter of time, right? Cleveland Browns' Baker Mayfield is back on social media. He tweeted today about a statue dedication for him happening at the University of Oklahoma's spring game on April 23rd. Now, he quoted a tweet from OU telling people to lock in the date. He said he was humbled and honored and that he would be there with the hashtag Boomer Sooner. Now, before this, he hadn't tweeted since January 23rd when he called social media toxic. And then on January 26th, he posted on his Instagram story that he was taking that social media break to focus on himself and get things right. So he made it 41 days today hey, All right. I would say this is a pretty safe return, though. I don't know how much more we'll hear from him, but we do know where to find him on April 23rd. Yeah. I mean, the statue's a nice thing. You kind of have to, you know. Yeah, that's not toxic. Sure. Let your crew know what's going on. Yeah, and he kept all of his fans. That's good. And congratulations to him. That is a huge honor. That is a huge honor. Absolutely. All